Our wonderful friend Danielle is here. Hi, Danielle. Thank you for coming. Well, thank you for having me. And then Helen and Diane. Oh, no. Okay, I woke her up. All right. Oh, no. She woke herself up. All right. We might have to redo that. so exciting today our wonderful friend Dan friend friend Danielle is here with us thank you for coming from thank Pittsburgh you for having me. Danielle you are a collector yes. and you love your fashion I do and we love our Robert Tonner yes, and our RTB ones. and I'm gonna let you do a lot of the talking here sister because you have so many fun amazing dolls oh. thank you for coming oh, well, your family you. is here a lot of them in Colorado yeah so she asked if she could come and stop by, and I said, girl, yes, you can, but I'm going to do a big ask. Can you bring your dolls? And she did. And I said, I think that's a great idea. And, and I so love that. I packed up 16, and all of these dolls have the RTB 101 body. Um, some of them are hybrid dolls that, uh, because I love the clothes, and I love the wigs, and I love to sew for that size doll. I have kind of, you know, made my own dolls out of them. Yes. So, but they are all Robert Tonner creations, except for one, and that is this one, that is um, the head on it is a Franklin Mint Jackie doll, so. I love it, Danielle, thank you for bringing them. Yeah, yeah, no, it was fine, it was fine. So they, were, fun. they were very good on the plane, and I was glad that they behaved because it was a party up there. Yeah. It was a party that yeah. you had them in the overhead. Right. So one of the things that I love about uh, every month, Danielle is in our Club Grace subscription. And every month she posts a picture of, of all her dolls lined up mm -hmm. and you mix and match the outfits and the wigs and the jewelry and you come up with so many fun combinations. Yeah. I look forward to that picture every month. Yeah. It's always so fun to see. Yeah. Oh, I love I it. That. I love it. So what's, let's, we're going to chat about some of these dolls and it's so yeah. fun that you sew. Yeah, I made some of the outfits and we'll talk about them. We can, I can go through them. Please do. By let, like you, the you oldest start. to the youngest, I kind of have it. So the Jackie doll that I talked about that um, was from Franklin Mint and I put it on our TV 101 body that I was able to get from eBay. And that was from 1998. And then they're all up from there. So um, there's two, this one and this one, that their heads are from, um, they were on a different body that wasn't articulated, so they weren't as fun. And I made them super fun. So these are the ones that are from the 17 uh, collection that Robert Tonner did for Ashton Drake. And so that was around 2002, I think. So this one was like in a prom dress and this one was like in a teenage cool outfit. So, and then let's see here. So that's three. And then I have the head right here from Brenda Star, Tropical Holiday, because I love that hair. We go all the way up to 2017, which is our Claire Frazier, the basic doll. And I made that little outfit. That's how she stays in shape. You've seen her body on Outlander. So she <laughs> does her Jane Fonda. And then we have two rain dolls. We have this one here that has her lavender hair on. So that is just rain. And that was from 2018. And then the other rain doll is this heavenly blue bride that was done for UFDC UFDC yeah yeah and I do think they do still have someone there and they give you free shipping I do know that much 
Then, so she was from 2020. And then we have Savoir Fair Sydney here. And I made that little outfit for our 80s thing with our magic pants. That's a magic jumpsuit. So that is Savoir Fair Sydney. That was 2020. And that was one that he also did for UFDC. And then we get into our graces. So we have our, of course, our original grace here. So we'll put her up here because she's the star of the show, we know. And that was the London Society Grace from 2020. Grace Marie Fitzpatrick, we all know her. And then we have Amazing Grace Aspen in her magic pants. And we have Amazing Grace Basic, which is this one here with her rainbow wig on. And then we have our Showtime Grace, which is also known as Deluxe here. And she has her cute little underwear on as her workout gear. And then we have the three dolls. Well, actually I skipped one. I skipped Mary Astor from 2017. And she's so sophisticated here. That's Mary Astor. And then the three that uh, Robert Tonner sold through Sideshow which is mixed media right here. Model mm. behavior is this one. And then that would be the romantic notion. I do have a American Beauty Anora at home. And then I have a couple of Elowens and I have several other Robert Tonner dolls. Really the how I fell in love with them was through the Harry Potter ones. Those were my favorites, so. That's how you fell in love with Robert with Tonner. Robert Tonner, Robert Tonner's creations. When I, because I love Harry Potter, and then I love that he made those. You know, he has the little ones that are when they were younger, and then there's another series where they're kind of like teenage, and then the later years of the Fifth Deathly Hollows series. I have all three. So, uh, so we have our wonderful dolls here, and you're a Grace fan. When did you, do you remember when you w started transitioning over into fashion dolls? Well, you know, the, I I did fashions on my Harry Potter dolls too, but yeah. but I think, you know, I think I really, really fell in love with, with Grace. And these are her, you know, her uh, compadres here. So they, they kind of complement each other and they are fun. They're all fun. It's nice to have the RTB 101 body, too, right. so they can all right. share. Right, and then, of course, we have um, Tamara's pattern, so I did use her patterns to sew a couple of things here, like this little jumpsuit and the little bra and panties and, and the big jumpsuits there. I have to be honest, I was afraid about my 80s month because I, w I thought that people weren't going to like it because it was so kind of crazy and uh -huh. out there. Well, you know, I graduated from high school in the 80s, we'll say, we'll just say in the 80s. So, um, yeah, it was kind of my genre. And, and I think the t-shirts are very 80s. Those are Barbie t-shirts. I love um, that. And I think there were certainly people that were wilder than, than I dressed. And I now I can do that through my dolls. So I was thinking about this one. I had put this together before someone posted about the cowboy boots and those those white boots kind of lend a cowboy oh, look with what totally she has do. on. They totally do. So we can get as wild as we want, you know? That's exactly it. And one of the reasons why I enjoy fashion doll, modern type dolls so much is because we can dress the them fashion. any way we want. They can go anywhere we want. Right. We can right. just have so much fun with them. And, and exactly. it's just, and it's just been such a blast. Uh, every, I just, I love the way that you, put the dolls together. Do you have a favorite way of, do you like more classic clothes or are you, do you like more of the edgier styles? Well, that's what's great about, about Grace and the wig. So she can go from, from wild to soft and demo, demure. Right. Um, they can be, you know, high class or they can be, you know, kicking it back, you know, they can do whatever, do it all. The Outlander Claire is one of my favorite dolls so that Tonner has ever She's done. She's one of my favorites, too. Did I, you get Jamie? I do have Jamie. 
You yeah, do. I do. Did you buy them when they came out or did you have to get them? I was lucky on enough eBay? to buy them when they came <laughs> out, but lucky? I know. Yeah. There's yes. a lot of people that would love to get them for the price that I got. Them for, yes. Let's put it that way. Exactly. They sell for a lot. They're just they absolutely wonderful though. They're so much fun. Yeah. Now you brought a couple pictures because you have some some family history with doll collecting and enjoying dolls. I did this actually the last minute and I noticed this one, I'm kind of two fisting Barbies in this picture with my dad. Love it. And then here I am with my Tiffany Taylor. It's the Tuesday Taylor. It was a spinoff from her, but it's a bigger doll. You can see that she's probably, she's probably as big as these dolls, maybe even taller. So that was my fashion doll. You could turn her hair around. She had blonde in the front and then you turn her around and she would be um, a brunette with bangs oh, if I you turn that. it around the other way. And I still have her. And then I just brought this picture and it just has me with uh, Shirley Temple and Mrs. Beasley there. Oh, so, And then that's my mom and my brother and my grandma. How fun. Yeah. So you've always liked dolls. I've always liked dolls. You've always yeah. liked dolls. And then here is the 80s girl hair. This is, you know, the big hair, the 80s girl. Oh, you look beautiful. So. I love that. So you are in, in, in real life, you are a nurse. I'm a nurse. I love that about you. Yeah. yeah. And you shout work with a lot for, of babies. For the NICU. Yeah. A shout out to the nurses in the NICU. And mm -hmm. it, it's, it's wonderful having you here, especially with a baby in the house, because you just, you know. <laughs> You know and you understand, oh, like, along yes. with your wonderful family that's here right now. Yeah. I am just so thankful you brought these. Now, I want to talk about this wig. It looks a lot like the one we offered, but this one is from Tamara Casey. This is from Tamara Casey. And I really and like I, it. Actually, the bangs are a little long, so I have it on backwards. Oh, it's on so backwards? You know. Yeah, we can. Oh, I love that. We, we can, need re more reversible wigs. We can turn it around if you want here. We can show this kind of hanging in her face a little too much, I thought, because she has such a pretty face there. Like that. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's yeah, actually how it's supposed to go. You We're gonna try, I mean? yeah, I, I, I definitely see yeah. what I mean. We're gonna try and do some more dolls, videos coming up on hair tutorials and how to, yeah. and how to, and how to style and, and do wigs, because that's a, that's an art in itself. Yeah. Oh, and I, I love their hair. I love the, this one and the original Grace. Their hair is the best. Rooted. Do you because prefer a rooted doll? I, you know, I like both because I like this hair because you can kind of refresh it. You know, if you wet it, it the curls come back. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, a lot of them like Claire's hair. I've had her, you know, it's like I said, since she first came out and her hair is still perfect. So either way, I don't know. I have fun with both. When they're in the original set like that, especially Claire's hair, mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't mess with that. But the the grace dolls they're you're supposed to brush them out that that original especially on the showtime doll it right. was real it's full real. of product it was yeah it was pretty crispy there. yes it was crispy and, and actually my niece has one too and she won't touch her hair oh she, she wants can, to keep though. it she okay. wants to keep it pristine and she's like oh, no that's yeah, sweet no yeah Dee because that's my nickname Dee Dee don't touch that and I'm like, okay oh, that's sweet but yeah. she can though they're, she can. they're they're made to play and that's yeah. what Robert always wants for us and our yeah. dolls is to play and enjoy and just have fun with them right and that's what I do that's what you do I think as soon as the theme comes out I start working on it and that way by the time I get my box I've kind of like Love you know, it. spun off of that and, and had fun making all kinds of other things. So, well, and thank you for being a part of our subscription. Have you ever? I I, I believe we're the only doll subscription out there, as far I as I know. I don't know of any <laughs> other ones, and it's awesome. Oh, it's well, awesome. We, I we, very much enjoyed it, and it's especially like you know through COVID and stuff. It yeah. really really gave me something to look forward to, and and now that we're out and about and you know dressing ourselves again and doing our makeup and hair, it's. No, right. Good. Well, you know, it is fun, especially for me today to to put on hair and makeup and, and do the whole thing and play dolls with you. Yeah. It is such a treat to see these beautiful dolls from your collection. And every month in Club Grace, everything that you share, you always have such great styling ideas. Oh, well, thank you. I, I, you put together different looks and I think, oh, that is so good. <laughs> so good job <laughs> I with that. It. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. And of course, I love you. 
Oh, well, I love you too. And I appreciate you being here. And Hall and Diane, we're, we, we just made it through. We just yeah. made it through this yeah. video before we have to go get her. And but she's, she is as adorable as you think oh. she is in person. She's, oh, thank you. She's adorable. And so is Rachel. Thank and you. And Stan. Stan's adorable too. Stan's adorable too. Yeah. Well, and so and so are is your husband and and stepson. No, that's my son. That's oh, my, so, oh, you're my oh. Well, I do have a stepson. <laughs> okay. That one's I birthed. Well, okay. I have another one <laughs> yeah. that I did birth. And then I have a daughter, biological daughter, and stepdaughter, and I love it. I love, I love this yeah. big, beautiful family that you yeah. have, and and uh, it's just wonderful. It's wonderful. So your son, yeah, that's my son, and your husband. It is so nice to to meet the men who are supportive of the doll life. That's right. But you have your own, you have your own thing that you love, which is motocross motocross <laughs> <laughs> and so the motocross keeps him pretty busy so every time he buys a new motorcycle well yeah <laughs> we don't usually say anything about each other's expensive hobbies that's perfect that's, okay. that's perfect i love it yeah. and that's and that's how it should work though is so you just enjoy right. that's what our You're hobbies are for months, you know yeah. and really I don't know what my kids will do with them when i'm gone you know it's up to them if they want to sell it because my taste isn't going to be their taste and exactly. that's fine. Exactly. So the dolls are here. Happy. Exactly. Our personal enjoyment. Yeah. That's what they're for, to entertain and to have fun. Right. And and you're doing it. Yeah. You're doing it. Yeah. Love it. Well, thank you so much, Danielle. Thank you. We appreciate it. We learned I learned a lot about the, some of the different dolls and definitely got some inspiration here. All right, we'll see yeah. you we'll see you next time. All right. Bye. Bye.